Hey, this is Brother Jeff. I'm going to show you how to get an Edge Animate game inside of Articulate Storyline. So first of all, you need to come to the library, make sure that you're in the Edge Animate game section under the Activities. And once you've come there, you can preview all of the different Edge Animate games just by clicking on it. And uh, the game will appear on the left-hand side. You can go through and you can play the game, uh, make sure this is exactly the type of game that you want. And then once you're ready, you can. there's two different types of downloads that you can download. You can download the project files or you can download the template files. Now the template files will allow you to create multiple projects um, just by selecting a new template inside of Edge Anime. For now, I actually want the project files, so this will allow me to open this up inside of Edge Anime. We do have tutorials on how to edit Edge Anime games, but for now let's just go ahead and open this up real quick and let's take a, a look at how this is structured. So you notice up on the timeline here. we If I move this little red line here, I can see different parts of my game. I can see my instructions. I can see my questions. I can see question one, question two, question three, and uh, all of this is visible to me. So if I want to go ahead and uh, edit something, I can come into uh, the left-hand side. I have to make sure that I unlock it first. I can go into question one, question one content. I have to make sure that that's visible. Um, and then all I have to do is just double click on that to get into the text, double click on the text, and then change my text here. And once I've uh, changed it, I, all the questions are correct, everything is ready to go, then I can just hit, um, I can go up to File, and then Publish, and this will publish out my project. If I want to make sure that it's publishing out a web project, I just click on Publish Settings and make sure that web is selected. Now. Again, there are tutorials on how to edit the questions, which ones are correct, which ones are incorrect, so I recommend that you go over that in uh, support.elearningbrothers.com to get more tutorials there. Now, once I've published it out, inside of that project that I downloaded, I'll see a published folder. And then within that folder is a web folder. Now, this is the folder that I need to attach inside of Storyline in order for it to, to bring in and in order to use that game within Storyline itself. So, But I have that folder all ready to go, so all I need to do is come into Storyline. And I'm just, I have a blank uh, slide. This can be anywhere in your project. It can be amongst other types of slides that you have. Um, but in this case, I'm going to click on Insert and then come into Web Object and then click on this Browse icon. Now, if this was already on a website somewhere, I could just go ahead and copy and paste in the link there. But in this, uh, I just want to go ahead and uh, bring in those files. Now, if I select a local file, Articulate will actually take all of the additional files. It won't just take the one file. It'll take all of the f images, the sounds, the JavaScript files that it needs in order to run. So I'm going to come back into here, go on my my desktop, go into the gridlock game, which is what I downloaded, go into publish, and then come into my web folder, and I select the folder. I don't need to select any particular file, I just select the folder, and then click OK. And then from here, make sure all of my settings are correct, which they are. I'm going to go ahead and click OK here now. Now, Articulate doesn't allow me to preview this project until it's published. And then I actually have to get it on a web server in order to preview the game within Articulate. So I'm going to go ahead and from here just click on Publish and then Publish to my desktop. Now if I come to my desktop, let me close that window, and then open up my sample content. Again, I mentioned that uh, it will not display inside of your window until you have actually uploaded it to a web server. Now just so we can see, I've already uploaded it to a web server and there's my game. Uh, it's fully functional from Edge Animate inside of Storyline and now I can uh, play this right inside of Storyline. You get, I get the point-to-point -point animations and everything I can do inside of Edge Animate's functioning right inside of Storyline. Um, and all it takes is that web object window in order to do that. And for the learner, it doesn't look like it's anything different. It looks like it was built in the same tool that um, that's the rest of the training was built in. So that's how you download an Edge Animate project, edit it a little bit, uh, export it out to be brought into Storyline, and then how you upload it and then and preview it inside of uh, Storyline's finished project.